Today FM. Today, Today FM, FM rocks. rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, Fijians to play their part in wake of the coronavirus. 2020 agriculture census begins. And municipalities owed over $30 million in rates. From the studios of FBC Suba, Beva Lindua. As the deadly coronavirus continues to spread, Prime Minister Vorenge Bani Marama is urging Fijians to practice good hygiene. Speaking on FBC's Radio Fiji 1, Bani Marama says the health ministry is closely monitoring the global situation and is implementing the necessary precautionary measures. The Prime Minister called on people to avoid spreading rumors online about the virus as this can cause panic amongst Fijians. He reaffirmed that the government has stringent measures in place, particularly for all ports of entry. <laughs> We need to start doing more now than what we were doing before in terms of hygiene because uh, this disease is also through touch. Be on the lookout for what your children are doing and where they play. All these are for the first time, the agriculture census will have four subsectors sugarcane, livestock, fisheries, and forestry. With the agriculture Census beginning today, the Ministry of Forestry anticipates not only relevant data, but also statistical information that, will, that they've never had before. Permanent Secretary from the Ministry, Pene Malay Nambuli, says the expanded focus on the 2020 census will, for the first time, give them a better stock take of the forestry resources. The census will be carried out over the next three weeks, from the 10th to the 29th of February. Another good example is uh, uh, pandanus or waiboi, which are rural uh, women use. Uh, this is uh, classified as a um, minor forest produce. So again, this census will be able to collect uh, that type of information. So extremely vital uh, information that will uh, indicate to Fiji the type of resources we have. Prime Minister Borenge Bainimarama says the Pacific's deep-seated cultural influence has fueled our urgency in combating climate change. Bainimarama made this statement while speaking at a special session on urban culture and climate change action in Abu Dhabi. With the theme, Connecting Culture and Innovation, Bainimarama says solutions to some of the existing problems, such as climate change, can be found in our roots, history, and heritage. The PM says we need rehabilitation that fosters harmony through restorative measures like replanting and engaging in carbon markets to offset emissions of highly developed nations. The local government ministry has called on all town and city special administrators to get ratepayers to update their information. The ministry has found that a large portion of unpaid rates are owed by people who have rented out their properties and moved to another location. Minister responsible Pramila Kumar says this needs to be addressed with more than $30 million in rate arrears affecting all municipalities. Kumar says municipalities are also expected to complete their restructuring soon so they can address issues within their boundaries. Letters, uh, to the rate payer if they're changing their address if they've moved out of that uh, property but they still own that property uh, they should uh, provide those details uh, to the municipal council so that uh, uh, such information can be captured in the database they can have a record and then the communication can start uh, with uh, the rate payer Coming up, Rabo Rabo Rabotors chasing history and France tops Six Nations table. Stay with us. Bula FM, number two and a series. Bula FM, number two and a series. Thorough preparation is vital to player performance in the field, according to Lotoka football coach Anand Sami. Impressed with a 6 nil against Nandi yesterday, Sami says delivery and favorable results depend on the work put in during training. Lotoka is the only team to gain 12 goals in two consecutive matches in securing their spot on top of the table. 
uh, with that rhythm and tempo, the play starts doing it. You see, the more repetition you do, it becomes a second nature to their mind and body. See, so that's what this type of drills I put in. The Swire shipping Fiji Warriors will be gunning for their fifth World Rugby Pacific Challenge title in a row this year. The Warriors have lifted the Pacific Challenge title nine times in the competition's 12-year history. World Rugby has released the fixtures for the Pacific Challenge, which, be, which will be held at ANZ Stadium in Suva. The Warriors will play Samoa A in its first match on the 6th of March before meeting Tonga A four days later. Their last match will be against Junior Japan on the 14th of March. The Ravo Ravo Rabbitohs will be chasing history come the Melanesian Cup showdown on the 29th of this month. Looking to be the first local team to win, win the prestigious Cup, coach Sibaniolo Varro says selecting the right players will be vital. With the final 20-member squad expected to be named tomorrow, Varro adds players hoping to make the team will need to meet the required standards. Yes, we'll be, um, based on our selection, we'll be selecting uh, the players' uh, ability to take on the field uh, for their skills, the strength, uh, body conditioning. After a bonus point 35-22 win, despite a lackluster second half against Italy, France has not won the Six Nations since 20. Tin, but their resurgence under new coach Fabian Gartier began with victory against England last weekend. Here are the tries. Carries it on, the heaviest member of this already big French pack, and here's Ingemar. Beautiful little grubber for Teddy Toba. And they had to throw big Azuri bodies in there. Well, the French would have been over again. Have they managed to wriggle and ride it across the line? They have. And it's try number two for the French. The carrier. Here is Brayley now. Paledri up comes the free roaming Dupont. Oh, this should be a try. Must be a try. And the Italian score through Matteo Menotti. Cyril by the Dupont. What an offload that was by the prop forward and it releases Gregory Aldrete and the magnesium flame is ignited. Dupont, Terry Thomas, space on the outside. May not need any of that space on the outside because it's Romeo and Intermac. The Italians, French trying to block the base of the post and they can't do it. They're not able to get there in time. Oh, good step from Sarah. Is Sarah going to get on the end of this? Oh, you lit word. Hayward going himself, support on the outside. And the Azuri finish with a try from Mattia Bellini. And they deserve every bit of that. Expect the fine weather to continue with temperatures in the low 30s and a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms later today and overnight, leading to another very warm day tomorrow. And that is your FBC News Now. Remember to join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. Enjoy your lunch. Good afternoon. Bula FM, number 2 NSR. Bula FM, number 2 NSR.